Now they used to roam free across the southeast, but their numbers dropped to a point where there were just 50 surviving in zoos. The European bison, it's the continent's largest land mammal, and 5,000 years ago they were plentiful and found from England to Siberia. But they were hunted to virtual extinction by 1927. In fact, there were none at all left in the wild. Well, today, the worldwide population stands at around 3,000, and wildlife experts in Kent are now leading a breeding programme to try and help safeguard the species for the future. Claudia Sebasis has tonight's special report. Bison are big ox-like beasts usually found roaming the vast plains of North America, where they're commonly known as buffalo. The European bison is a close relative, superficially similar but behaviourally different. Both species were hunted close to extinction during the 19th and 20th centuries. A Europe-wide zoo breeding programme has today led to this two-year-old bull's arrival in Hearn Common. The aim is to return Britain's largest terrestrial mammal to the woodlands. We're all about British wildlife and it's so important that we can show British wildlife past and present to everybody who comes and visits us and this is an essential part of the British wildlife jigsaw. At one time bison wandered through most of Europe but by the 1920s there were none left in the wild and only 54 in zoos. We have started restocking uh, nature reserves across Europe with these wonderful creatures but there's still a very important role for zoos to play in breeding these animals and returning them to the wild. This afternoon two more arrived at Wildwood. Once the bison have got used to each other all three will be released here into this paddock and because they're browsing animals what they'll do is they'll eat the bark and even knock down some of the trees which will give the whole ecosystem a real shake-up encouraging different species including rare butterflies. It's hoped that in time these bulls will be successfully matched with bison cows in the fight to preserve the future of these great mammals. Claudia Sebezes, BBC South East Today, Hearn Common.